everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our long-running series, The Unported Playlist, where I take a look at my favorite unported arcade games of all time. And today we have Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, a beat-em-up, and an awesome one at that. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But getting right into the gameplay, this is an awesome beat em up, and I absolutely love the graphical stylings, including these special moves where you get a full screen sprite animated attack. Now I will say right off the top, what do I know about Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon? Absolutely nothing. I know it exists, and I know I like this game. But if you're looking for a history lesson on the series in and of itself, this is not the video for you. We're just looking at it from an arcade perspective. And it's a very interesting story in this game as well, because it was developed by a company called Gazelle, which was a company formed after Total Plan went bankrupt. Another company that formed from that company is Cave, the maker of Bullet Hell Shmups. I'm sure you've seen them on this channel more than once and heard of them a lot of times. And this runs on the Cave 68K hardware as well. But right off the top, if you played one beat em up, you know the mechanics right off the top. But I will say this is an absolutely outstanding beat em up with a lot of good mechanics and some absolutely amazing artwork. Those special attacks are just spectacular. They fill the whole screen and look really good. Now there are two different versions of this game released a month apart, an A revision and a B revision that has some bug fixes, but the story is that this game is technically not finished. The ROM has content that's not in the game, including a lot more ending than you get, but what is here if it's not finished you would be hard pressed to tell. And for the first time on Unported Playlist, Apparently there might be a Korean only PC release of this game. If you listen to the internet, there's rumors it came out. I could not find a single photograph or reference to it actually happening. So if you know that it does exist, leave me a comment down below because maybe technically this did get a home port only in South Korea. I'm sure it didn't get a part in North Korea. We know which Korea they're talking about there. But right off the top again, the mechanics in this game are just so good. The attacks have such great hits, and the screen is just absolutely filled with enemies all the time. You're going to be fighting 6, 8, 10 people at once, and you'll see that sometimes this crystal pops out. You have different powered special attacks depending on how many crystals you have, and you'll see here these two ravens come down at the end as well. It's just like Golden Axe, the more magical potions you have, the better attack you get. Same in Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. What I really love about this game is the graphical stylings, all of the sprites, all of the environments, everything is so well animated and presented. This just looks gorgeous in motion, and I enjoy it even if I don't know anything about the franchise it is based on. But that's the great thing about playing arcade games, sometimes you don't need to know what the property is so long as you know what a good game is, and Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon definitely is in that good game category. And you will see here some dude in a cape and a top hat throws these roses down. I'm sure he has a name, I just don't know, and sometimes I don't look up the information just for you guys to answer it, because I'm always curious to see who loves what, and if I look it up, you don't get the chance to tell me what's going on, because I really do love those comments where you kind of fill me in on the backstory of things that I might not quite understand. I will say the bosses can be quite tough, though, even in the early areas, and you do want to be using those power-ups at the right time, but you get five playable characters, and they all fight in high heels. It must be really hard to fight in high heels, but they seem to have it figured out. And you do get a little story here and there, but the game is definitely light on the story. And that may be towards that theory that this game is unfinished and was supposed to have more content in it. But it's got a lot going on. I love this junkyard level, and I love how many opponents it throws at you at once. It is just a wild time. It's definitely a game that's going to be better as a two-player game, but our, our arcade game is better with a friend. But that way, one of you can handle one side of the screen and one can handle the other, because you definitely don't want to get surrounded by enemies. It is a death sentence. But if we're not putting in real quarters, what does it really matter? And I will say this next boss fight kind of makes me sad, because look at this absolute mountain of awesome CRTs just sitting in the background. They must be great. You know what else is great? The soundtrack for this game. Let's go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds, and I'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
absolutely awesome soundtrack and I will give you one more chance to listen to it later on because I love it that much. But I do like that midway through the boss battle, she flies up onto this tower trying to escape and finds us waiting for her. It's nice to get that little 20 second break in the boss fight, kind of stretch your hands and get ready for the next phase. And I love that this game does it. But now that we've defeated this boss here, moving on to the next round, one of the things that this game does a really good job at is mixing up the environments. Every stage feels new and different because what they don't mix up as much are the character designs. Now, of course, being based on a series, it's not like you can make up a ton of new characters. And this had involvement with some of the people involved in the series itself. So you kind of get what you get in the game, but I do wish that some of the enemies were more diversified. And I would probably say that this game is maybe five minutes longer than it technically needs to be. Although I do love that trap door right here. Well, there's a chute as well, so there must be two different places where that trap door comes in from. But towards the later stages in the game, they throw so many enemies at you and you barely advance right. You probably spend five to six minutes fighting enemies when the game could just be moving on. So it seems like it was artificially inflated in length a little bit. But again, you go from that trap door to this underground office with all of these monitors and computers here. You don't really ever find out what's going on. It's just an office, but it kind of makes you wonder what's happening in the background because this game has absolutely detailed sprite based graphics i love it it's great 2d pixel art there's a ton of frames in the animation and moving on to the next boss as well you get that classic crt cart in the corner if you grew up with that in middle school you'll know what i'm talking about but you will see immediately the boss just killed me and again the bosses in this game are just straight up cheap sometimes you need to knock them into the corner and basically spam attacks to try to make sure they don't get back up and get loose because when that happens it's just impossible to start hitting them and we get another fun rose attack but they come from a 45 degree angle and dude's sitting here in the chair so i don't know if he jumped into the chair as he threw them or what's going on there just always made me kind of curious but even the small details the flashing crts with the colors now it's just such a pretty game to look at in motion the game also has a great sense of humor as well because as we move on to round seven this little girl's going to come in with this gigantic tubby cat who is going to be zapped and turned into basically like a werewolf except a were cat and we need to chase him throughout the entire stage because he is the boss and he went into an arcade and absolutely destroyed some candy cabinets not good behavior but honestly claw machines are so difficult i can't blame him for wanting to destroy that but i told you i'd give you one more taste of the soundtrack so go ahead and listen for 30 more seconds and i'll come back and talk more about the history of this game but enjoy <laughs> The soundtrack is so fun and playful. As is this level, you can see the cat destroyed the store as he walked through it, and it's just a fun touch. This cute, playful kind of graphical style fighting this house pet goes along so well with the music. And when you finally do beat this boss, it morphs back into this tubby looking cat that runs at its owner and gives her a big hug now that it's back in normal cat form. The game just has a great sense of humor, it's always going to make you happy to play it. And that's the thing, Gazelle didn't make many games, and Banpresto games, while great, never get talked about in the same conversation as games from Sega or Capcom or Taito or Namco. They made some fun stuff, but they're definitely not one of those developers that's remembered for being amazing. And that's unfortunate, because I do love this game, even if I know nothing about Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. But I am curious, leave me a comment down below, are you a fan of Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon outside of this game? I'm always curious to hear the crossover between people that are watching just because it's another awesome arcade game that didn't get ported and people that love the franchise it's based on but if you're looking for a new beat-em-up to play either alone or with friends you could do a lot worse than this game i highly recommend you check it out if you have not played it and this game is so long i've cut like 70 percent of it out which will be in the long play short of that that's the game i highly recommend it i'll have another unported next monday and video throughout the week but we've run out of time and we'll see you guys next time bye bye